I've been talking a lot about retro, fast-paced first-person shooters lately, and despite what some people think of my channel, that's not exactly what I set out to focus on. Sure, I'm known for about a solid two years of Doom Eternal coverage, but that's just one game. I'm really not that immersed in the FPS scene. Most of the new boomer shooters have bored me. I'm way more excited about Sifu, Elisa, the retro survival horror game, and finally talking about how much I love Slay the Spire. But man, the past couple months have been delivering some really great FPS titles, so I guess I'm an FPS channel right now. That's fine. If that's how it's gonna be, how about we talk about another upcoming shooter, Metal Hellsinger. But before we do, bring up that notification. Damn, Son Mayo's got another sponsored video under his belt. So Funcom, the publisher of Metal Hellsinger, reached out and asked if I'd be interested in doing a spot for their demo, and I mean, I'm always open to checking something out if it has qualities I like, and I think some viewers might be into it. So what's Metal Hellsinger all about? It's got kind of a Doom 2016 aesthetic, in a way, thinking of catting your sanctum. I'm sure that most videos talking about this game will make the Doom comparison, but it's not just the look and the fact that you're fighting demons as you go through a bunch of strange and dangerous levels in hell. You've got glory kills that restore health, so yeah, the Doom comparison is fair. The dev team behind Metal Hellsinger features creative director David Goldfarb, who's known for his senior leadership on projects like Mirror's Edge, Bad Company 2, Killzone, and Battlefield 3. Looking at this footage, you can see that this isn't your typical FPS. It's rhythm-based, which is a concept I've been hoping to see done right in the shooter genre. What the hell? Is that an elephant in my room? Oh. Oh, God. If you've followed my channel for a while, you may be familiar with my utter loathing of BPM, and since Metal Hellsinger and BPM share the same shoot-to-the-beat design, I gotta address it. BPM isn't just a game that I've talked about, it's also probably the best-known indie FPS rhythm game out there. It's going to draw comparisons no matter what, not just from me. But definitely from me. If you search BPM review on YouTube, my video is number three, and it's quite negative. There's no way I can avoid this. If Metal Hellsinger had the issues that BPM had, then I wouldn't have agreed to do this video. But from what I can see, so far at least, aside from the rhythm aspect, they're pretty different. Aside from the obvious differences in art style and the melee system and glory kills, crucial details set these games apart. I found BPM's implementation of the roguelike design to be quite annoying, repeating the same opening levels for hours as you're figuring the game out, hearing the same song, and seeing the same eye-burning red color scheme over and over. Metal Hellsinger looks to have more of a traditional campaign structure, saving your progress after each level. So while BPM is about staying alive as long as you can, and then going back to level 1, this game bases progress on level-by-level -level point systems based on hit streaks, damage taken, etc. The rhythm system itself is actually quite different too. In BPM, actions have to be performed on the beat. If you're off, stuff just doesn't work. So the reward for good rhythm is survival. In Metal Hellsinger, you can actually do things on or off beat. It's just that doing them on the beat gives more points and does more damage. Pretty different systems, and in this case I'm not saying one is better than the other. They just give the games very different feels. Enemy design here is also way better than the bats and globs of goo and spiders or whatever you see in BPM. I'll take demons from hell any day. And the music, definitely better. And for a game based on music, it's nice to be able to praise the music. BPM's soundtrack wasn't without its moments. I'm not gonna crap all over that guy's work. It's a fine rock soundtrack. He did a fine job with the limitations he was given. But check this out. Metal Hellsinger features contributions from the lead vocalists of Trivium, Arch Enemy, and Lamb of God. And the vocals play into the game's point system. Shooting enemies on the beat will boost your multiplier, and when you reach 16x, it makes the vocals kick in. That's a really cool and creative reward for playing the game well, especially when the female vocals are going and you're riding high on all that dramatic energy, and then your multiplier drops and her voice disappears. I'll admit that it made me want to quickly recover the multiplier to keep that energy going, even if I didn't care all that much about the points.
There's a basic weapon loadout, but there's variation within it, and I really like the extended range of the sword attack. It's further than you'd think, which helps with keeping the rhythm. The skull can charge up to freeze enemies, and then shooting them causes an explosion. But be careful, because it'll damage you if you're anywhere close to it. Reloading the shotgun and pistols takes forever, but there's a marked beat that, if hit, will bypass the end of the animation and you can get right back to shooting. Eventually, you'll be keeping track of how many bullets you're shooting until auto-reload starts and you'll be ready to hit that reload beat skip to keep rolling. Each weapon has a chargeable, powerful alt fire, bringing down stunning lasers, shooting a single high-powered shot, setting down a decoy. There's some pretty good weapon synergy. There's even a cool trick with the sword where every third beat you hit with it causes a heavy slash to come out. You aren't penalized for missing when you swing, so you can actually set this up as your initial attack on an enemy. That's something I definitely want to clarify though. Your hit streak is not lost if you miss a shot, only if you shoot off beat or get hit. That's why you can swing the sword a couple times and miss to get that downward strike and still keep your hit streak. So if you take a shot and miss your target, don't worry, just collect yourself and aim better. You haven't lost the hit streak. Interesting design choice, I think it works. Now, there's not a lot more I can say about this game because I'm just going off the demo, the short demo. And if I were promoting some kind of early access release charging money, I'd want to see more. But really, I'm just here to draw attention to the free public demo during Steam Next Fest, June 13th to the 20th. Free demo, man. If you like what you see here, go try it out, and maybe you'll have a new game to be excited about. And here's something that instantly puts this game ahead. Tempo variation. I don't know how much of it there's going to be, but the boss theme is significantly faster than the level theme. It helps so much with the escalation of action, and it's going to help the gameplay feel less monotonous, so you don't slip into one tempo for the whole game. I'm incredibly pleased to see this. It's yet to be seen if there will be rhythm variation, like triplets and swing beats, something played to the upbeat, something like that. We'll see. For now, free demo, so why not check it out? After about four playthroughs, I really started getting the hang of the intricacies, feeling the flow better. It's more complex than it seems, and for someone with a crappy sense of rhythm, I'm starting to have fun. But hey, devs, this max FOV of 100 crap has to go. Don't make me get an FOV mod just to feel comfortable in your play space. Bump it up. I'll remain cautiously optimistic about this one. I want to see more. This game could certainly go on to be pretty cool. Thank you to Funcom for sponsoring this video. My Lone Shark will be quite pleased. And I'm running out of toes. Subscribe to this channel and check out some of the other stuff I put out recently. If you didn't see my analysis of Robocop, I recommend that. And I recently appeared on Captain Cuba's Pot of War podcast, where we talked at length about God of War 2018. So if you haven't seen that, head over to his channel and put it on while you cook or feed your kids or I don't know. <laughs>